Welcome to a lecture series on real analysis. In the previous lecture, we have seen and uh, we have seen the definition of a closed relativeness and a theorem on closed relativeness. In this lecture, we are going to see an example of closed relative. Okay, uh, here our real line is considered to be the metric space X with this standard Euclidean metric, and this is the submetric space taken in this, and this is the set that we have considered. We are going to check whether this is open in Y and open in X or not. Okay. <coughs> Plainly consider this E to be a subset of R and try to find out the uh, closure of it. Okay. Or you just try to find out the limit points of it. If you examine for the limit points, you get this to be your limit point set and uh, your E closure. Okay. Uh, this to be your limit point set, right? So, in order to say a set is closed, what should we say? We should say limit collection of limit points is contained in E itself. Or we may also say that E closure is same as that of E. Right? So, here what we have done is we have collected the limit points of this set in R. And even if you examine for this E closure, you will get your E closure to be the same set. Right? This is not same as that of your E. Therefore, your E is not closed in X. Okay, let us examine what is happening in Y. Okay, so this is my uh, this is my limit set in R. My limit set in Y is going to be what? It is E prime intersection with Y. That is 0 0.5 comma 1 intersection with the segment 0 comma 1 it is going to be 0 point closed at 0 0.5 open at 1 here also when you try for the uh, closure in y you will get what 0 0.5 comma 1 which is same as that of your e therefore your e is closed in y so this example uh, gives you an idea that a set closed in y need not be closed in x Right? Sometimes, uh, suppose if you take this to be your E which is closed in X as well as in Y2. Right? Now, this might have given you the idea of relative closedness. And one more thing that you have to always remember is that <coughs> empty set and the whole set are always considered to be both open and closed in any metric space under any metric right uh, this you may try with these ideas right uh, suppose this has no limit points right this empty set has no limit points therefore uh, for uh, empty set the collection of limit points is empty which is contained in empty itself that is why it is closed we know that uh, if E is closed this implies what? E complement is open, right? So empty set is closed implies empty set complement which is going to be the entire X is open. Okay. When you consider entire X, what are you going to get? All the points are inside it. So whenever you talk for the limit points, you will get all the limit points to be present in it. Therefore, X is closed, you are getting. If X is closed, X complement is open. What is X complement? It is empty set. So empty set is open. So, uh, with this idea, you may consider 0, 1, the same Y to be your E. You can see this is closed in, this is both open and closed in Y, but is just open in R. It is not closed in R. If you have any queries in this video, you can post it in the comment box that will be clarified within 24 hours of time. Thank you for watching.